So first you're going to need a blonde wig. This is a lace front from findwig.com. I'll put the link in the description box for this one if they still have it. And I did curl this one for a different look, but I think it comes wavy, so however it comes, you can just style it accordingly. First I'm going to cut off like three inches from the bottom, just so that it's a little bit shorter to work with because I'm going to make it shorter anyway. And now I'm just going to recurl it with a larger curling iron. Um, however your wig comes, obviously you can style it differently. I'm just doing it how I'm making this wig and you can take whatever you want from it. But I'm going to first curl it around and then make sure that you hold your curls because the cooling part is the most important when you're curling a wig. And you can see it makes it a lot looser and more natural like hers is. And now I'm just curling the bang section and I'm curling it away from her face. And again, make sure that you hold the curl because if you don't, it will just stay straight. And this is another method to curl like the longer pieces. I just take the curling iron and I go across the section just to heat it up and it actually makes it straight. So you would just go along the bigger sections and just make it straight and heat it up. And then the cooling down part is really what makes the curl. So after it's heated through, you can use either another curling iron that isn't plugged in or your fingers like I'm going to do. And you just wrap it around it and just wait for it to set and cool into place. And you can see it just kind of makes it more of like a natural wave because her hair is very kind of messy and curly. It's not like perfectly curled. And now I'm just using these thinning shears which you can get at like any beauty supply store. And I feel like this is the most important part if you're gonna do a wig, I guess. Because it just makes it look more natural when you cut it. It's like harder to cut things if you're using a straight line. You can just kind of go really hard in with this. You don't have to be careful. You just basically thin out the ends of it so it looks more natural, so the ends aren't like blunt. It just makes it look like actual hair the way hair is layered. So you can see I'm just going and cutting a whole bunch of it. It just cuts like 50% of the hair and it thins it out. And this will also make the pieces shorter because her wig does have like layers and bangs and you can just basically cut it until you're happy with it. And then for the back layers, I'm really, really taking a lot out of it. This wig is super long and it's very thick and I wanted it to look more sparse at the end so it looks more natural. So I'm just cutting a whole bunch, like a whole bunch. And you can see the ends of it, it looks really beachy, very natural looking. And this will just give you an idea of how much I took out. I really thinned it out, like don't be afraid to really take out a lot of hair if you're using this wig. And now to do the roots, I'm just using this eyeshadow. It's actually a bronzer, but you can use an eyeshadow. And you basically just crush up any kind of ashy brown color. And then you mix it with a setting spray, that's what I'm doing, and I'm just going to pour it in. And it just kind of creates a paste, like, like a liquid paint of eyeshadow. And you mix it together until it's really liquidy, and then you can just paint it onto the roots. And this will save you a lot of time. Using eyeshadow to do the roots takes a lot of time because you have to really build up the pigment, but if you do this first, it'll really help for the other eyeshadow to stick, which you'll see I'm going to be doing. 
So basically you're just kind of balayaging it on as if it were real hair, but you just use a heavy kind of pressure when you're applying it to the roots and then you just kind of feather it down the hair until it looks like natural root grow out. And I'm just going along the entire front section of the wig and also bringing it a little bit back onto the center part. And now I'm using a darker, ashier shadow just to do into the closer part of her roots. And then I'm blending it out. This will make it look more natural, like it's actually growing out. It looks more blended if you do two different colors. And by using that setting spray at first, it'll make it so much easier, it'll stick better. Then to color the hair, I'm using these three different temporary hair sprays. And I just got these on Amazon. I'll put the link below. I used a pink, yellow, and blue one. Now I'm just gonna spray this side of her hair blue and you wanna be very light with the color at first because it can come out really dark, but it's supposed to look like washes of color. So just do like short little spritzes So I added the blue and now I'm adding some yellow over top of it so it looks more like a dingy greenish blue. And I later added more blue because it came out looking really green. So it's whatever you feel. You can see I'm just adding some yellow onto the bottom parts of it and just move the wig around a lot so it's more random and you don't have like any harsh spots. And I'm also putting some pink at the ends and then kind of rubbing it through because sometimes it's orange. If you mix the colors, obviously it'll make the other color. So the pink and yellow is making orange. So that's what I'm doing, just making it look more mixed. And then on the other side, I'm just using the yellow and pink, and I'm first adding the yellow randomly throughout the hair. And again, make sure that you're moving the wig so you get on the inner parts as well and not just the outer parts. And then on the very ends of it, I'm adding the pink, and I'm also adding that close to the roots. But I just lift up some of the ends and I add the pink and obviously if you just reference the picture you'll see kind of where to put the colors. And then in the back I'm just using the yellow hairspray and then I'm going to add the pink right onto the ends of the bottom and it also has like little pink spurts everywhere, so I added that too. And then don't forget the inner part of the wig, so I'm just adding some more blue onto the inner parts. Now I'm just gonna add the final touches. I'm gonna style the bang a little bit. So I'm just going to lift up the back part of the bang and I'm going to tease that a little bit so it's a little bit taller. And here I'm just hairspraying it and this will help lock in the color and also it'll obviously lock in the style. Next I'm just adding some more brown eyeshadow to wherever I feel like it needs it. Hey. 
This is the finished wig. If you guys haven't already seen the makeup tutorial for this look, I'll put the link below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you for watching.